All right. Now everybody's mixed in our mixing bottle. This is where the value of this bottle is really going to show. Uh, there's two ways we can dispense this into the jars. To get started, you want to sort of measure it because we have, you know, one liter here or 34 ounces, um, 50 containers to fill. So if you do the math, that means that we're going to be putting 20 milliliters in each one of these guys. All right. Um, we'll start with a turkey baster. If you don't own one, you know, a couple of teaspoons will work. But uh, they usually all have markings on it. Teaspoon is five milliliters, tablespoon is 15, so you want about one and a third tablespoons. Um, this guy just really makes it easiest. I'm reading um, uh, 20, millimeter, 20 milliliter marks right on the tool, so I'm just gonna draw it up to there, square it into the bottle, proceed through filling these things. I wanna make sure that my gel is properly mixed. The one thing about gel powder in here is it settles. So I just want to make sure that that is mixed in here. And my trick for getting this into the jars is going to be, let's put that there. I'm going to draw it up into the turkey baster and then pump it. I'm going to draw some up, I'm going to pump it down, and then I'm going to stop right at 20 milliliters. There you go. That's all we're really trying to do, and we need to do that 50 times. Let me do one more. Draw it up, pump it down to stir it, and then I'm going to quit right at the 20 mark. There we go, that's two. I bet you guys are starting to get an idea how the third one's going to look. There we go, up, down, hold it at 20. And you can see that, you know, 20 milliliters is going to be the same in all these containers. So now I've got my mark. If I really want to speed this up is where I put the top on this. And here is where I really like the uh, juice bottles like that. It's got the snap-on lid. I can tilt it to shake it. And then I can just pour it in to the same mark. That's all done. I'm going to shake it, lift it, pour it to the same mark. It's okay if you're off by a few milliliters. The whole idea is that we want to be able to fill everything in the container. If I get lazy don't want to put the top down, look at that. Did exactly the same thing. I use these containers on purpose because they've got that flip top and that hinge, which means they're easy to use and easy to reach. Um, we're going to go through and fill all these guys. Then we'll prepare the pressure cooker, put everybody inside of it, set it, let it operate, and then we'll be taking these out to cool. And when they've cooled, we're going to have all of our tissue culture vessels with gel in them all ready for our plants.